Clara, I'd like you to line up your nose with the line on that mirror. Okay. Okay, now I'd like you to move your left foot without moving anything else and keep your nose right on that line. Okay, I'll try. Hey, well, it went off. I'm going hey. off. <laughs> okay, now do the same thing again, but move anything else. Be the important thing is keep your nose on that line. Okay. I'm moving my okay. right arm then. Now you, ra you raised your hand right away, yes. didn't you? Yeah. What you were really doing was keeping your center of gravity. Have you heard about that? Oh, yeah. Well, you've heard of Do you know what it is? Not really. It's an imaginary point where gravity seems to be concentrated. Okay. And every system, let's assume you're a system at the moment, okay. has a center of gravity. And what you were trying to do was the semicircular canals in your ears are giving you information about whether you're balanced or not, and you're trying to keep your center of gravity over some kind of support. Okay. So let's find out where your center of gravity is. For, I made a little teeter-totter. So okay. lie down on it. Uh, put your head here, okay? okay? Like that. Now you know you can have an adult on one side of the teeter-totter and a child on the other, and you can move them back and forth until you get them perfectly balanced. Uh -huh. That means the center of gravity of the whole system is uh, right over the center part of the teeter-totter. So you gotta move down that way, right? Yeah. Okay. One more. One more. Almost. One more. Like there you go. There you go. There. Right there. Okay. Now, your center of gravity is directly above the pivot point of the teeter-totter, which is right okay. there. So I'm gonna mark that like that. Okay. okay. Now get up and stand on the teeter-totter. Okay. Notice how you automatically stood so that you were yeah, your center so of gravity is directly over mm -hmm. the center of the teeter-totter again. So I'm gonna mark that point. Now that's okay. not your center of gravity. Your center of gravity is inside of you. Okay. Right in a line with this and this and this and this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now try looking in the mirror again with your nose right on the line and notice that your center of gravity is right on. It might move a little bit because you have a loose uh, sweater on, but okay. Now line it up. Now move your left foot and your right hand to keep your nose even. See what happens? Yeah. You now your 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 nose and your center of gravity stay lined up with that. Now that you know where your center of gravity is, you can play tricks on people. Okay. Run around here. Stand against the uh, door. Put your feet right up against the door. Okay. And I'm going to put a book down here on the floor. All I want you to do is to pick up the book. Well, there, don't move. <laughs> hey, you moved your foot. Yeah. Why? Well, my center of gravity, well, the center point went over my feet, so my feet had to come forward to right. pull it back. In fact, the minute that center of gravity gets over the edge, your, your, the your semicircular canals in your ears say, move your foot quick. Uh -huh. Yeah, so you did. Okay, try it once more. Okay. Do that? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, now turn sideways. Okay. Put, stay up tight against the door. Okay. okay. Now I'd like you to move the outside foot. Up. Uh, What's the matter with you? <laughs> Why can't well, you? I'm trying to push towards there, like lifting up my arm. Yes. And You'd like to move something on the other side yeah. to keep your balance, and you can't because you're uptight. Okay. Now, go sit down on the chair over there. Okay. You're nice and comfortable? Yes. Where is your center of gravity? Right here. Over the support, obviously. Yes. Now, with my little finger in your forehead, I'm going to hold you right there. Now, try to get up. I can't get up. Why not? Well, um, my center of gravity point is trying to get up, and but something, um, you're trying to push me back. Okay, push slowly get up and watch what happens where your center of gravity is when you can stand. Right there. It's leaning over. Yeah. The minute your center of gravity went over your feet, you could stand up okay. okay. Now sit down again. Uh, it, try this on your father. Even a strong man like this probably cannot get up if you hold with your little finger right in the middle of his forehead. <laughs> so try it when you get home. Okay. Good luck.